And live out here at the David S. Palmer Arena in Danville, Easton Hoskins going to be turning over to Brian Soskin here soon, uh, the injured man. Brian's last night on the DL. Uh, our play-by-play guy Tommy had an unfortunate accident, got hit in the face by a puck during warm-up. So Tommy is on the way to get his nose reset. So we're going to have Brian Soskin doing the play-by-play, and uh, as always, Kyle Miller doing a great job running the camera for us tonight. So I'm going to turn it over to my pal Brian on play-by-play. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Soskin. I'm here to serve you for the play-by-play, taking over for Tommy. Uh, Tommy had an incident where he got hit by a puck. He will not be able to take care of tonight's game. So uh, I'm I'm apologizing now for any mistakes I make. This is my first time, but I will uh, try my very best. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the opening face-off. Giuliano wins it back. All right. Oh, I apologize. I got caught watching. Turns it over to Matt Punterary. We got Derek St. Marie with a little breakaway. And he, oh, just misses it. But it looks like there's going to be a penalty. Possibly a penalty shot. Ooh, just a hooking. Uh, I believe that's... Uh, Carcerani or something, 19 on Danbury, able to clear it. Looks like Lund and Cody Akers are on a two-on-one against uh, Joe Pace. Joe Pace blocks the pass. Lund gets another shot at it and gets a goal in. Short-handed goal by the Danbury Whalers. Ooh, hits hits the good guy. Er, Hits us, I think his name's Solera. I personally think he's very good. That's why I said there gives it to the good guy. Ooh. Looks like it's a breakaway for Slerov, who shoots it enough. St. Pierre makes a nice blocker save. Goes yeah, out of play. Like out well, I just looked at my phone. Oh, sorry. Uh, Face off won by the Danbury Whalers, who gets at the shot. Deflection off of uh, St. Pierre, and puck goes out of play again. Sorry, but I just looked at my phone, and it looks like uh, James Robbins sent me a text message. Hello, I'm going to give you a shout out. I hope to see you soon. And I hope you're watching the game and I hope you uh hope you think I'm doing a good job. Or, I don't know what I just said. I think I hope you I hope I do a good job. I'm all nervous here, fellas. I just dropped my pen down to the from into the stands from the skybox. Ooh. Dashers just take a tripping penalty. I don't know why, but it kind of sounds like I'm talking like a 1950s announcer here, like all boring. So I apologize for that. I'm kind of getting into the game here, and it's hard for me to talk it through. All the way down to the far. Ooh, nice hit. Sorry. Ooh, fight! Number 19 and number Tully. Looks like Tully and Carcerano are fighting. Nice uppercut by Tully. Tully looks like he's out muscling the kid. Ooh, Carcerano gets a couple nice punches in. Ooh, two uppercuts. This looks like an NHL 14 fight. Uppercuts and haymakers, that's it. But it looks like 19 got, has Tully in a headlight, and that's going to do it. I'd say a good little fight there. Ooh, looks like Kelly's jersey's all ripped up. I'm not too sure what Tommy likes to talk about during the whistles, but... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad change. Number 18 with the breakaway. Goes five hole and scores. That was... Bad communication. I think something happened. I'm not even too sure. I got caught watching the puck. But uh, looks like Sanford, uh, I believe that's name number 15, picked up the puck at the blue line, threw it blue line to blue line right to number 18, who was all by himself, able to beat St. Pierre in the five hole. Makes Whalers up two to nothing with nine minutes and 38 seconds left. And that is a media timeout. It's like Phil Esposito, coach of Danbury, is yelling at the refs saying you can't do a media after a goal. 
I've never heard of such rules, so I'm just going to say that's his opinion. Sorry for the end of that play here. We got some guys that stuck up behind me to clean up some of the mess that happened with Tommy. But I'm not even sure what happened. Maybe an icing, but face-offs in the D Whaler's zone. Looks like it's going to be Ayers versus St. Marie. Oh, look at this. Dashers get a power play. That's why the puck is in, or that's why the faceoff's in Whaler zone. Turns it over back to Ayers, who gets hip checked by Joe Pace. Lon and Dunford have a little hit. Ooh, looks like Billy the Kid Hunt just rocked Ayers. Richter, Sanford, and Fraser out for Danbury. Hunter Ayers, Derek St. Marie, Billy the Kid Hunt, Dustin the Dirt heading with Giuliano. Giuliano keeps the puck in to Derek, excuse me, to Derek St. Marie. Punteri walking the goal line, tries to stuff it in, doesn't work. Derek, or not Derek, uh, Steve Wickham skates it down the ice. Looks like somebody's teasing us a little bit, bringing some nachos right here and then walking away. Trying to test me to see if I'm going to eat any, and I'm going to fail this test. I hope that the coaches for the dashes are right. Obviously, I'm a little biased. But yeah, so I'm going to give Tommy some credit. This is a pretty hard job. I didn't realize how hard it was, so he doesn't have an easy job. It's like Frazier is going to be taking a power point or a penalty, and Brown is really giving it to the ref, yelling. I'm having a kick out of this. I love listening to Brown yell. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm on the ice. He actually made me laugh a few times on the ice and gave me a hard time for not scoring on him when he knows I had the net on him. But he's a very good competitive, good goalie. Very hard to play against. Very competitive. That's why he's yelling. Gives it to Zaleski straight down the middle. Able to make it to the sun. Looks like he's hooked. Where the heck is the call on that one? All right. Sorry about that. I good buddy of mine, Jamie Zaleski, just got hooked, and my emotions got a, got away with me on there. Who gives it to Jules? Looks like he's going to get a shot. Blocked by Sanford again. God, he's good. And I'm going to sign off for the first intermission. Uh, if you have my number, you can text me any comments on how I'm doing or not. If not, I will. you'll listen to me soon. Big quick thanks to Coach Mike Chigasola pointing out that I made an error on accident for cursing. I apologize. Try to make sure I realize when the uh, microphone is still on. I now have Edgar Zoslin sitting up here next to me. He's laughing at me, trying to make me laugh. He's doing a good job because it's starting to work. Alrighty, here we go. Second period underway. Face, well, not underway. Faceoff's about to happen. Looks like Ayers is able to sneak away and get a quick breakaway. Poke check by St. Pierre. And, oh, I'm gonna go with that's a hooking penalty. That's I didn't see that in my vision, but must have been a penalty. 22 picks it up. 22 is a swift little player. He uh, nice guy as well. He helped out the Dashers when we got stuck at uh. Wesco Pro Shop when we were in Danbury. Very nice to help us out. And then he came, played against us, and beat us. But 
getting distracted here. Nice play by Danbury, but St. Pierre with a glove save. Danbury, long pass to the far blue line where Pace takes out Cody Ayers. Ursularov tries to rifle it across ice to the far point, but misses him. Puck's, puck goes all the way down to Danbury. Forgot to tell you that the penalty expired, so it's even strength. Ooh, no icing. I'm going to disagree with that as well, but Dunford back there against David Lund and Carcerano, I believe his name is. Tesserero, he's new to the Dashers. I'm not too sure his first name yet. I apologize. When Joe Pace is coming at you, get off the tracks when the train is coming. Face off right to Tully. Takes a spill. David Long gets a little breakaway. Nice hit by Williams cutting across. Down. Goes around Dunford around the Dashers net. Looks looks in the middle. Right to Sanford. Sanford scores. Looks like he went high waffle side. Sanford. Uh, not going to talk about him anymore because he just scored on us and he's good. But nice play by the Danbury, Danbury Whalers to make it three to nothing. Power play goal. I wish this was as easy as it is when you're doing this with your buddies, a little play-by-play. -play. It's a lot harder when you actually have a microphone and people are actually listening. But you learn a lot from the movies you watch, such as Rookie of the Year and Major League. That's where I learned some of the best broadcasting. You got Rick Vaughn here coming in for the Tribe and all those good one-liners. You got Ball 16. And such lines from Rookie of the Year, one of my favorite movies. Uh, this is for all the marbles, the whole enchilada. Got the camera guy over here laughing at me. Looks like he's playing on his phone during the media timeout. Edgars has his head buried into his arm, laughing at me, shaking his head while he's eating my Snickers. It's all right. Hungry? Why wait? There we go. I got another smile out of the cameraman right next to me. Uh, players are back skating to the way to the face-off circle. St. Pierre looking at me, maybe giving me a wink. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Goes right to Zaleski, who throws it to Punteri in the corner. Right back to Zamer. Oh, goal! Yes! Punteri, one-touch pass back to Zaleski at the hash mark. Flat bomb looked like it went far side over his waffle goal. Three to one, three to one, and the Dashers are on the board. Ooh, looks like we have a fight here. Joe Pace and Fraser. Fraser looks like he's got pace on height, but I'm gonna go with pace on this one just because I like the kid. They're going to the center ice, a little uppercut by uh, Fraser. Rips off Joe Pace's helmet. Joe Pace throwing some left, trying to tie up, get uh, Fraser to where he wanted him to. Pacer dodging some throws. Pace's jersey gets ripped off. Pace's got no jersey going on against Fraser here. We got the Rocky against Fraser music going. This is getting me pumped up. I'm not even playing. Edgars has my arms going in the air. Joe Pace throwing. Oh, they go down. Nice little wrestle match. Looks like Frazier might have gotten more punches. I don't know who connected the most. Joe Pace doing the, I think it's the Ty Domi gun shooting to the stands with his fingers. Everybody loves it in the crowd. Then Thompson throws a puck to a nice little guy, nice kid in the stands, and everybody's happy. Joe Pace just fought... I don't know his first name, but his last name is Frazier. Edgars is trying to tell me his name. I'm not very interested in it, to be honest. It's too confusing to try to learn everybody's name in a short period of time, so I know his last name. I'm just going to stick with it. Take the puck wide. Nice poke check by Brown. Looks like there's a trip. No trip. Unbelievable. Uh... Face off one by the Dashers. Oh, Brosnan gets rocked by Lund. Sorry, I was looking at a text. Uh, James Robbins is helping me out here, sending me some information on uh, Sanford. Dashers just iced the puck, so I have a second to tell you guys. It's like that uh, Sanford defenseman for the Whalers has quite the resume. Everything from the AHL to the ECHL, AHL, some more AHL, ECHL, CHL. Good for this guy. 
he looks like he's played a lot of places, and you can tell in his game. A face-off against number 22 on the glove side of Dirk or St. Pierre. That's pretty confusing, all the Saints, St. Marie and St. Pierre. But not a not a heavy shot. And it looks like Williams is about to fight Richter. Right in front of the net. Williams gets a good shot, but Richter looks like he knocked him down with one quick punch, but maybe just lost footing. Doesn't look like he was knocked out or anything, so good little fight. Two minutes and nine seconds left, so... Nick Williams and uh, Richter are going to head off the off the ice for the inter intermission. So Joe St. Pierre has something to say. You kind of hear his French accent from up in the press box. Six seconds left in the defensive zone. Face off. Derek St. Marie takes it. Oh, we get a mulligan, luckily, because we lost the face off. But looked like there was a jump start. All righty, everybody. It's the second period is over now. Danville Dashers are trailing the Danbury Whalers 3 to 1. We're going to sign off here and I will you'll be able to listen to me again in the third. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the third period of the Danville Dashers versus the Danbury Watertown. 20 miles left in this game. We got a 3-1 to one lead for the Danbury Whalers. Hopefully the Dashers can step it up. We got 20 miles left. Got to produce something there. Get on the goal, score, goal sheet a little bit more. Just kind of singing the song for everybody that we're listening to. Face off, everybody's lined up, ready to go. Brings in the Dasher zone, winds up, nice block by Joe Pace. Kind of press the R1 button if you're playing NHL, that's what Joe Pace just did to block that shot. One on one knee, down low, St. Pierre wraps it around, but Fraser able to stop it. Woo, what a hit by Norman. Oh, Fraser looks a little upset running around like a chicken without his head. Take a face off against number 19 on Danbury. I believe his name is Carcerano or Carcerillo or something. Kind of reminds me of Dino Cicerelli, but not. <laughs> oh, Brazen looked like he. Oh, Brazen maybe clipped him with his knee. Carcerano wanted a second chance at him. Brazen said, Not today. Hits him again. Now Lund skating around Brazen trying to start stuff. Joe Pace comes in to kind of help out. Oh, God bless it. Looks like somebody on the Dashers took a penalty. I was just scrolling through Facebook. I saw a bunch of pictures that Tommy just posted. He looks like he's got himself a hockey schnoz right now. Hopefully he's feeling better. He that he's about to leave the hospital. We all wish him well. Point to Ayers, who gets to Sanford, right back to Ayers, right back to Sanford, right back to Ayers, right back to Sanford. Finally, somebody else, Richter, gets it. Back to Sanford, to Ayers, shot blocked, out of play. 22 gets it back, hits Sanford right in the middle. Oh, jeez, nice move by Sanford. And then what a save! Oh, no, rebound goal. 4-1, to one, Danbury. Joe St. Marie with a nice save after Sanford opened up a great scoring chance for himself. He had the first save and wasn't able to get on the second one where it looked like they snuck it right under him to make it 4-1 to one with 12 minutes and 39 seconds left. Sorry about that. It's got a little sidetracked. Face off one by the Dashers. All of a sudden tipped by Punteri from a shot. Oh yeah! Punts with a goal! Punts waiting at the back door. Puck squeakles through and Puck finds a player that's in the right position, and we have a goal. 11 minutes and 22 seconds left. Danbury is now winning by only two goals again. Punteri, Puck seems to find goal scorers, and that's exactly what happened right there. Punteri slowly sneaking away to the back post. Puck squeaks out right to him. Open net, tap in goal. Uh-oh. Giuliano with a bad little turnover there. Hits number 11, who's... Kid's got wheels. Joe with a little holding penalty. 
Joe Pace, two minutes holding. I'm going to disagree with that call. Blanche has it out for Joe, obviously. It's like Joe is just skating. Joe's not the fastest. He was just skating, and number 11 was kind of staying behind Joe there. Turns it over right to Sanford, who hits Ayers' breakaway. What is going on? Nice save by Joe St. Pierre. It looks like he got hit, maybe. What is going on out here? Somebody needs to hit that hot dog. Matthew Puntereri giving me a quick wave while I'm up in the press box here. I'm really hoping he's going to score right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you now have my full attention. My phone just died. Oh, Danbury, too many men on the ice, it looks like. What? Oh, I thought Zaleski was talking to the ref. It looked like he was going to the box. But no, it was too many men for uh, Danbury. So two minutes and three seconds left. It's a golden opportunity for the Danville Dashers on the power play. Okay, as the uh, unexperienced coach that I am, I would maybe pull the goalie with two minutes left, down by two with a power play. But that's what not that's why I'm not coaching. St. Pierre is still in the net. Thompson goes, tries to go back to Kurt. Oh, blocks. Oh. Look for a one-timer from Derek St. Marie, but missed it. Derek St. Marie walks out of the corner for a goal. Brown gets caught down low, yelling at the ref for an interference, but does not get it. There's 44 seconds left. Derek St. Marie walks out of the corner with a goal. Joel Pace, being a clown, tries to knock his stick back to the goalie. The goalie drops it again. Dashers are down by one goal with 45 seconds left. Lucky bounce, picks up the puck, going down the dam. Goal. God bless it. Solero with a lucky bounce, picks up the puck, skates down, and shoots it <coughs> in the empty net. Five to three, Whalers. It's like we, that's what we call in this sport a bad bounce. Bounced off a player, went right to Solero's stick for a breakaway with an empty net goal. Sends it across the blue line to Henning. That was it. That was cheap. That was cheap. That's a five. That's brutal. Two minutes attempted murder. Looked like Steve Brown just butt-ended Zaleski in the face. That's brutal. That's unacceptable hockey. That's not hockey. Should be two minutes attempted murder, but I think it's two minutes butt ending maybe. It's kind of a way to start things for tomorrow's rematch against these two teams. Down all the way and that's gonna do it folks. Danville Dashers lose 5-3. to three. Everybody have a good night. Thank you for letting me fill in for Tommy. Uh, I'm sure he'll be here tomorrow. Otherwise, you can have my voice again. Have a good night, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.